If you're gonna get in the video, you might as well get all the way in, okay? Dobie's always gotta say hi, so here's his his cameo. All right, now leave. Hey everyone, it's Maddie, and today I'm gonna be talking about my November TBR. But this TBR video is gonna be a little bit different, so usually when I plan out my months, I plan out my TBR in my reading journal of for every single month. And for November, I only had five or six books planned. And usually I read between, I'd say like six to nine books. Like it, somewhere in the middle, sometimes eight, sometimes nine. It just really depends. But this month I only had six planned. So I was like, what can I do to fill the rest? Because I usually have t 10 to 12 books on my TBR. And I usually don't read 10 to 12 books, but I like having the option just in case I read super fast. And if I don't end up reading all 12 books, that's okay. I figured I only have five books written on my TBR right now. The sixth book is just for a video that I might do, but I wanna pick about three to four more books to put on my TBR. And I was like, how do I do that? I don't wanna just randomly, <clears throat> sorry. I don't wanna just randomly scroll and find something to fill the gaps. So I thought, why not just do a random pick from a jar? This idea, the TBR jar, I'm not sure who the original person who came up with it is, but I can try and find it. And if I do find it, I will link it down below because it's such a cute idea. I think writing little prompts, I'll give you an example of a prompt. An example would be random scroll on Goodreads. <laughs> so in that case, I would just literally swipe up and stop my finger and pick a book on Goodreads on like my want to read list. Let's get straight into this video. The first three books are actually gonna be probably for a video that I'm gonna do, which is Colleen Hoover, okay? I love Colleen Hoover, I know a lot of people do and I know a lot of people don't, so it's a really mixed pot of people, but I love Colleen Hoover and I've actually only read two or three of her books, but I'm still like obsessed with them. The first book that I plan to read is Heartbones. This is probably, I say this about almost every book, but We'll ignore that. This is probably the most beautiful cover I've ever seen. <laughs> and one thing about me, I think if you've been following me for a little bit, you know I don't read the back of the books. So sadly, I'm not going to give a summary on any of these books. If you want to look up a summary, you can just wait until my wrap up at the end of the month when I do give a summary of it. Okay? Is that all right? Cool. Without Merit, Colleen Hoover. Everyone knows that Colleen Hoover books are kind of triggery. <laughs> Triggery is that a word? There's a lot of trigger warnings in most of her books. And in almost every book that she has, there's always like a plot twist at the end that's kind of like, what the fuck? Or something like that, you know? There's always a Colleen Hoover twist. I know for a fact that this book, Verity, this one will apparently like fuck me up. So I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> for some reason, you know, the past like three books that I've read have really made me sad. And I'm, they're so popular too, like Song of Achilles and A Little Life and Goodbye Days. Like there's so many books that are really popular that make you emotional. And I'm wondering, is that like really popular just to cry during books? Like I actually kind of like it, even if it's really fucked up and sad. Do I like being sad? Am I depressed? I don't know, I don't know, maybe. It's apparently a Colleen Hoover month, okay? Cause three of her books, I'm gonna plan to read these all in like five days so I can, pop a video out. All right, the next book is what I am so excited for. I'm so excited for this. Again, another very popular author, Shadow in the Ember. I just pre-ordered this, so I got it the day it came out. I was, you know, wait, can someone let me know in the comments, doesn't it charge you, like Amazon, doesn't Amazon charge you after you've pre-ordered it? Like you pre-order it and then the day it comes out, that's when your card is charged? Is that what happens? Let me know, because honestly, I can't remember because I want to do some more pre-ordering. Honestly, I loved being surprised. I forgot this book was coming out and I was like, oh, I forgot I pre-ordered it. So it was a little gift in the mail and I loved it. But this is the first book in a new series that she's writing, which is kind of like a spinoff from the world of From Blood and Ash. But it's about, I think the first maiden in her story with Niktos. Maybe I'm lying, maybe that's not the primal of death, whoever whoever that is. But she basically, the main character in this, Serafina, is supposed to fall in love with primal of death. I'm, I can't remember who that is. Is that Nikdos? I don't remember. Make the primal of death fall in love and then kill him. But I'm very excited. 
for this one. Look how pretty. I'm not gonna lie, her covers are beautiful, okay? Beautiful covers, but they all look the same. I'm just gonna put it out there. The next book is one that I'm struggling with. It's The Well of Ascension from Brandon Sanderson. I did read Mistborn. I liked it a lot, but it took me a lot longer to finish than I thought because it was kind of slow up until the last 10%. And I, I like fast-paced books, so I'm a little nervous to even start The Well of Ascension because I don't know how it's gonna go. But I'm still, I still wanna know the rest of the story of Mistborn, so of course I'm gonna pick it up and of course I'm gonna finish the trilogy. Like, I love the characters, the magic system, everything is great in this book. So I know I'll pick it up, but I'm just kinda like, will I finish it in three days or four days like I usually do with books? Probably not. Like, look, wait, hold on, let me do some math, okay? This is mass market paperback, so it's probably like just smaller. This book's longer, but I'm gonna finish this one in probably three days. And this book, I'm probably just gonna spread it out throughout the month, unless I'm like in love with it from the get-go, but I wasn't that way with Miss Born, so I'm not sure how long it's gonna take me to read. But I usually like reading one book at a time, which is kind of my dilemma here. I don't really want to read this while I'm reading other books, but I think I'm gonna have to for this month. I do really wanna read it. I just don't really wanna read it. Okay, and the sixth book I'm not gonna mention because I haven't picked it out yet. I just have an idea for a video. Let's get onto the TBR jar. I think I'm gonna do seven, eight, nine, ten, four books. Okay, I'm gonna pick four books just so I have 10 books on my TBR. And we might need to use my laptop for this portion so I can look on Goodreads. So hold on. First pick, I've got my laptop out just in case I need my Goodreads. But let's see. Ugh, it's another Colleen Hoover book. <laughs> Maybe I don't do this one. Actually, you know what? I think three Colleen Hoover books is enough for a month. So I'm going to get rid of that one. We're going to pick one more time. Okay, sorry. I a YA book on my TBR. So a young adult book. Let's pick a YA book on my TBR. So I have my Goodreads pulled right up. Okay, so I'm going to put the screen recording right here just so you guys can see. I don't know... I honestly don't have that many YA books on my um, TBR, so we're gonna see. All right, you're gonna look. Maybe I don't, maybe like, do I even have YA books? Want to read, let's see. Is the Atlas Six considered YA? What genre is that? I feel like it's not YA. All right, I don't have that many YA books. Oh, what about These Feathered Flames? This has to be YA. Oh, yeah, okay. It is young adult, and I actually have this book. I have it, cool. So I think I'm gonna do this, These Feathered Flames. I'll put that on my TBR. That'll be a good one so I can knock it off my shelf. Let's do another. A new author to me. That's really hard to see, sorry. In my handwriting, it's like chicken scratch on these, but a new author. So one, an author that I have not read. I honestly could just pick something off my shelf. Would that be better? Yeah, let's do that because there are some books on my, on my shelf that I really need to pick out. Maybe this one would be good. I think this one, Grace After Henry, this is in my last video, or two videos ago, the free, oh, ow, Little Free Libraries. I picked this book up at a Little Free Library, and I've never read a book from Eighth and Ow, again, I keep whacking myself in the face, Eighth and Shortle, so I have never read from her, and I'm pretty sure she's from Ireland, too. I like these books for fillers anyway, and we have some pretty dense books already, so that one is a good pick. We're gonna do another one. Number four on my Goodreads, and that's by title. So if I go on my Goodreads screen and I click the word title, the number fourth on there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hold on, let me pull it up. Okay, so if I go to one to read, and then I go to title, I'm just gonna literally click on title. And okay, so it basically did it backwards. So it's starting with Z, so I'm just gonna count. Wrath and the Dawn. Okay, I've seen this everywhere. This is a TikTok book, I'm pretty sure. I don't have a copy, so I'm gonna have to go get it. Or maybe it's on Libby or something, so I can try and find it on there. I literally, you know what I love is how you guys can see that I googled how to screen record on a Mac, and you can tell that I've never done this before. We're gonna just do one more because this video is kind of a mess. 
a book talk recommendation. Let's pick a book talk book. I Google like good book talk books and see what pops up. I am not reading We Were Liars, like absolutely not. I'm not even in frame. Um, you know what? I've kind of been wanting to read Red, White, and Royal Blue because I've read basically all of these. Does Red, White, and Royal Blue, is that one good? I've heard great things. I'm gonna pick Red, White, and Royal Blue. I've seen it everywhere. So that leaves me with just nine books for this month's TBR. I'm gonna write those down really quick and then we can do the outro to this video. Three Colleen Hoover. Race After Henry, These Feathered Flames, The Well of Ascension, A Shadow in the Ember, and Red, White, Red, White, and Royal Blue, which I do not have a copy of. And The Wrath in the Dawn. Is that what it's called? The Wrath in the Dawn? I don't have a copy of Red, White, and Royal Blue or The Wrath in the Dawn, so I'll have to get those. That's nine really good books, in my opinion. So that is it for this video. That is my TBR, my November TBR. I hope that I can at least finish seven to eight this month. So this was a quick little video. If you want to follow me on my social media, it's all linked down below my bookstagram, my Goodreads, my main Instagram, Amazon wishlist. If you want to send me one of your favorite books, go ahead and do that. But I'm going to put these back in the jar so I can do this again in the future. I think I'm going to do this for my whole December TBR video. So stay tuned for that. That should be just in a few weeks. That is it for this video. So I will see you guys in the next one.